People start screaming seconds after Trump stops WV rally when he sees what's in the crowd. Just over a week since President Donald Trump was in West Virginia to speak to 40,000 Boy Scouts, he returned Thursday night for the second time. His first visit was highly criticized by the left who ruthlessly attacked him for the political things he said to impressionable adolescents, accusing the president of ambushing them with an inappropriate political tirade. While this was a stretch of the liberal imagination set out of hate for our nation's leader, they weren't done getting their shots off at Trump when he was back in Mountain State to speak to an arena filled with Trump supporters. Proving that he's a president for the people, he doesn't need a specific reason for a rally like announcing new legislation or any initiative to launch. If he simply wants to spend time with the people who he's working hard for in the White House, he will. This is why he went to West Virginia last night for an energetic rally which came to a screeching halt when he saw what was in the crowd. Moments later, people there started screaming. Standing at a podium surrounded by everyday Americans Trump spoke about the border wall and the success he's having there as this campaign promise is quickly coming to fruition. He attacked his biggest nemesis, fake news media as well as the swamp in Washington, D.C. which he's been draining. However, before he was almost done talking about these things, he stopped suddenly. The one senseless accusation against Trump that has plagued his presidency in an attempt to derail his success and perhaps impeach him, has been the claims of his supposed collusion with Russia that liberals are obsessed with. Trump saw chants in the crowd begin to form of rally goers shouting lock her up, lock her up, in reference to Hillary Clinton who the left are trying to deflect from with this Russian nonsense. What he said next sent everyone in the arena screaming and cheering with what he didn't hold back in announcing, the Russia story is a total fabrication. It's just an excuse for the greatest loss in the history of American politics, that's all it is. It just makes them feel better when they have nothing else to talk about. What the prosecutors should be looking at are Hillary Clinton's 33,000 deleted emails, an immense amount of time and resources is being wasted on this Russia Trump witch hunt when it should have been directed at Hillary. Had that been the case, perhaps she'd be in jail by now. Instead, liberal media went on the attack for Trump having the audacity to say this about her, claiming it was strike two of offensive speeches in West Virginia in just over a week. The Washington Journal reports with complete liberal bias toward our president, calling his remarks a tirade against Hillary Clinton, it's not a trade, it's the truth which they are running and hiding from, refusing to see it for what it really is. Looking and sounding more like Mussolini than an American president, Trump stood there quiet as the roaring crowd ate it up. They even broke out into the old locker up chant, much to Trump's delight, Washington Journal reported, from the very beginning. President Trump's delusional strategy has been to deny not only any wrongdoing or complicity in Russia's operation to undermine the 2016 presidential election but to carry on as if the multiple investigations themselves don't even exist. At the end of the slam piece on our president was a link to sign a petition to impeach President Donald Trump. They claimed with this link that if you sign it, you will be joining millions of others who agree this action is necessary. It's another stretch of the imagination since not only did Trump win by a landslide, his approval ratings are at an all-time high and Democrat politicians are switching parties because of him. West Virginia Governor Jim Justice has seen enough results from Trump's administration and the passionate Trump supporters in his own state to switch parties. He announced this monumental move at the rally last night. The longtime Democrat has probably seen the destruction within his own party and appreciate what's working with Republicans enough to become one. Liberals refuse to give Trump the much-deserved attention because it would prove them wrong, but the proof is in the results which they personally benefit from. They are too focused on Russia and taking Trump down with the claims than the excessive criminal acts Hillary has gotten away with for years.